What is up, guys? A last video for the day, by the way. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream yet or not. I'm still trying to decide. But <clears throat> Grand Theft Auto Online is finally over on Linux. Because, you know, Rockstar forgot to click the button. It is literally a button to enable the ability for BattleEye to work on Linux. It is literally a button. And this means that a lot of Grand Theft Auto players who move to Linux can no longer play online. Now, I know this may seem silly to some people because it's a really old game, but it's constantly being updated. And this is actually a lot of people's lives. And this is a really, really disappointing thing. You know what I mean? You don't need to do anything with BattleEye for single player. You don't even need to do uh, no BattleEye to keep playing single player it will literally just work but uh there's a lot of things that you can no longer do there's no bypass for it there probably isn't going to be one all rockstar has to do is click a button to enable linux support now here's the thing windows linux when it comes to cheating they're exactly the same there's there's no difference except for the fact that it might be harder to run cheats on Linux due to the fact that most, uh, you know, no clips, auto aims, things like that are made for Windows. So we don't know if they're actually going to run or not. That is the biggest change. And that would make Linux a little bit less of a platform for people who cheat to really use unless software was designed for Linux, which most of the time it's not because then it has to uh, basically run on Linux but basically attach itself to an EXE and then do all that stuff. And most sheet makers won't even bother because it's not really that big of a market to do. So there is zero excuse not to just click this button and enable BattleEye to run on Linux. Because again, it is just a button. And adding support would be a really big thing that they could do. I mean, a lot of people will probably appreciate it. I don't like going on here again. There's cheaters on console, there's cheaters on PC, there's cheaters everywhere. And this is not going to stop it by any means, but this is definitely something to look out for if you're one of those people that do play GTA Online on Linux. It's not happening anymore. Sorry about that. Same thing goes with EA and their new anti-cheat software for Battlefield. We don't know if it's going to run on Linux. Okay, we don't know yet. But if it does, great. If it doesn't, that's really going to be a bad thing for the Battlefield community because I know a lot of Battlefield uh, veterans that have moved to Linux due to Windows just being extremely buggy and bloaty. Bloaty? Really bloat it. I am one of those Battlefield veterans that moved over to Linux. I mean, right now I can play Battlefield 3, I can play Battlefield 4, I can play Battlefield 1. I don't know if 5 works, I know 1942 doesn't work, because the developers just said, nope, nope, we don't want it. And that's kind of disappointing, because they refuse to support it, even though they can definitely do so without much of an issue. Again. Just because it's Linux, it doesn't mean it's easier to cheat. In fact, it might be more difficult to do so because of the things that I mentioned earlier. So I don't really understand the whole anti-cheat scenario going on for Linux. If it's not a kernel level thing, I get that kernel level things are stupid. And honestly, Microsoft doesn't like them themselves. Those don't really have a place in gaming and they don't, they should never have a place in gaming. Valorant is pointless honestly because of that it's just most players won't touch it because of the kernel level anti-cheat which has been causing issues in disabling a lot of people's ethernet connections and even some notable wi-fi ones so microsoft's kind of a little bit pissed off i guess about that as well one second i'm moving i'm not i, I stand in one place in this okay Okay, Linux can run Windows software, but Windows is supported. Linux can run Linux software, which is pretty much not going to be any more complicated to detect than Windows software. I mean, easy anti-cheat can already do it. So here's the real thing. The only thing that's stopping anti-cheat from working on Linux, it's not Linux. 
It's not the layout of the file system. It's the developers. They are the problem. And not enough people are going to social media and getting more attention brought to the issue. Bungie is a hopeless, broken, lost company, and I don't ever expect them to have the IQ to understand what Linux is. They are a dead company, as far as I'm concerned. They died after they died the minute they made Halo Reach to me. That's it. The minute they walked away and said no more and left that cash grab of a game, they died to me. That's my personal opinion. You don't like it? I don't care. Ugh. Destiny is just boring. And I don't know. I don't want to play it, but denying people the ability to play it on Linux just because you don't want them to, it's not an excuse. It can run on Linux. The anti-cheat can run on Linux. It works. You just don't let it. That's the difference. Bad developers don't let anti-cheat work on Linux. And this is one of those scenarios. But Rockstars, they are not bad developers. They are not a bad company. Not by a long shot. They do some sketchy stuff. But they tend to listen if enough people will stand up and say, we want something. Like for the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 6, which is confirmed to be a thing. They listened. They're like, oh wow, there's a big outcry for PC gamers. All right, let's delay the launch a little bit and make that happen. And then release it a couple months after the console version. That's big. That is very big. And I'm very impressed with them for doing that. I'm guessing that's why they did that. I mean, there's no real reason not to unless, well, the game's just really boring and they needed to add more content. Yeah, I don't know. Who cares? The point is, if you want this to be a thing, if you want them to support Linux, be vocal. Jump on the social media platforms where they are seen to interact the most and spam the living crap out of them. They have forums. Team up. Go after them in the forums, ask for support, keep asking, keep asking, convince them, make this a thing. We're never going to get anywhere if we don't stand up and get noticed because way more people use Linux than Microsoft or anybody else really wants to give credit to. Uh, most people don't allow telemetry or anything else to be even read from their PC. So there's a lot of people that are on known in the global market share that are using Linux but again, if you deny the telemetry and the reading and everything else, I hate saying this, Linux's market share looks way lower than it should. So to all you paranoid people out there, I think maybe it's time to head to Steam and really do the survey or add on to Chrome and turn off whatever extension you're using and just do your thing or Firefox or Brave, whatever. Stand up and get noticed. It's time because this this is an easy fix. This is a click of a button. Battle Eye is very easy to use, very easy to program for, very easy to develop for. And if that button is all that's holding it back, again, stand up and be heard. Oh, I want to show you something. I tested it earlier today. Uh, this is going to be the thumbnail where I put it. Oh, I'm in pictures. That's why. You can't see what I'm doing. Give me a minute. <clears throat> And here it is. So I tried to connect and this is the message that I got. You've been kicked from the session by Battle Eye. Please return to Grand Theft Auto V. Yeah. Bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, uh, spread this around. Once again, let's be vocal. Let's be heard. I'm going to do it on Twitter. You guys go do it on Twitter, Facebook, wherever it is, whatever it takes. Let's get anti-cheat more supported on Linux, shall we? That means for EA and everyone else.